Have you ever walked through a forest after a good rain? Have you noticed strange and wonderful shapes pushing up from the soil? These are mushrooms, the visible members of the fungi kingdom. They pop up in our parks and our gardens and deep within ancient woodlands. Some look like tiny, delicate umbrellas. Some resemble colorful sea coral. Some look like strange, lumpy potatoes. This is just the beginning, a world operating largely out of sight, a kingdom unlike plants or animals, as distant as stars in the sky, secrets hidden just beneath our feet. These fruiting bodies are a spectacle. Think of the fly, agaric, red cap with white spots. Picture the amethyst, deceiver, deep purple, small and shy. Imagine a jack-o'-lantern mushroom glowing at night. If the mushroom is the apple, then the tree it grows on is something else entirely. For fungi, that tree is a vast hidden network called mycelium. This is the main body of the fungus, a sprawling web-like structure made of countless tiny thread-like filaments called hyphae. Imagine a single thread of cotton and then picture millions, even billions, branching and fusing together, exploring the soil in every direction. This network can be incredibly vast, stretching for miles connecting entire forests. In fact, one of the largest known living organisms on Earth is a honey fungus in Oregon. It's mycelial network covering nearly four square miles. It is a hidden giant, quietly going about its business right under our feet. This mycelial maze is not just wandering aimlessly, it is a highly intelligent and responsive system. It is constantly exploring, sensing its environment, and searching for food. The tips of the hyphae are exquisitely sensitive, able to detect nutrients, water, and even the presence of other organisms. When they find a food source, like a fallen leaf, fungi are the planet's ultimate recycling team. Without them, the world would be buried under an incomprehensible pile of dead things. Every fallen leaf, every dead tree, every deceased animal is eventually broken down and returned to the ecosystem by fungi. They are masters of decomposition. Mycelium releases powerful enzymes into its surroundings, chemicals that can dissolve even the toughest materials, like the lignin in wood that other organisms cannot digest. The fungus then absorbs the resulting nutrients, using them to fuel its own growth. What it doesn't use is left behind in the soil, enriching it and making those vital nutrients available for plants to use once more. This process is a fundamental cycle of life, death, and rebirth. Fungi are the bridge between the dead and the newly living. Many plants and fungi have formed an ancient and powerful partnership known as mycorrhiza. In this symbiotic relationship, the fungal mycelium connects with the roots of a plant. The fungus is far better at exploring the soil and absorbing water and minerals than the plant's roots are on their own. In exchange for these essential minerals, the plant provides the fungus with sugars, which it produces through photosynthesis. The astonishing abilities of fungi don't stop at recycling and communication. Scientists are now discovering that these organisms can help us solve some of our most pressing environmental problems. Certain types of fungi have a remarkable appetite for things we consider pollutants. Some can break down complex hydrocarbons, oil spills, industrial waste, turning toxic chemicals into harmless compounds. This process, known as mycoremediation, offers a natural and powerful way to clean up contaminated sites. The antibiotic penicillin was originally derived from a penicillium fungus. Today, many other life-saving drugs, like cholesterol-lowering statins and immunosuppressants used for organ transplants, come from fungi. Innovators are using mycelium as a sustainable building material, growing it into molds to create packaging, bricks, leather-like textiles. They remind us the most important things are often hidden from view. So become a fungal explorer. Next time you are outside, in a city park, a backyard or a wild forest, look closer. Look for mushrooms pushing through the soil. Notice the white, thread-like mycelium in a handful of rich earth.